Hello everybody, um, today I was going to talk to you about this paper called Antarctica Universal. I've been working on it for a number of years actually, um, and here you can see a picture of Antarctica kind of almost upside down. Um, and how you oriented this uh, really can change a lot of uh, perspectives of what you think about Antarctica and about the universe and about our home planet Earth. So there's just so much to talk about here, there's hundreds of pages of work that I've done on this topic of Antarctica Universal. Here is some pictures. I found this uh, in the university library and then here you can start to see Antarctica uh, with the tail and kind of positioned more like a brain that you would perceive with the top of the head right here uh, and so on. So, um, But there's just so many pictures and so many different diagrams of way to look at Antarctica. Uh, this is primarily the geology of Antarctica um, but there's just basically you can see the fault lines around here and this is the main fault plate um, basically around Antarctica um, but there's some just absolutely beautiful images here's one that's kind of like upside down almost but if you flip this around the other way you we'll start to see that it may look like Antarctica and we're slowly getting to that point here's the top of the head uh, looking at Antarctica again and just so many different perspectives and then here's kind of more of a traditional perspective looking up from the spinal cord um, up into Antarctica um, but there's just so many I try to take a lot of different pictures here um, and the other question is how does this relate to other planets um, and uh, different ideas like that so we're gonna get into that uh, and then just different patterns um, that we see around the different lines so you'll see that there's uh, different wind patterns uh, and definitely um, some different um, colder winter patterns uh, on the polars polar easterlies as they call them um, so and then there's some very weird things that I've seen um, in terms of these uh, kind of like uh, weather patterns around all of Antarctica. So here, you can't really tell that this is Antarctica, but if you look carefully, you'll see Antarctica is here. There's definitely some, you know, four or five different um, mysterious <coughs> cloud patterns that show up sometimes and sometimes even more than that. Um, but you can basically see that there's something very interesting here. You can see South Africa right on this piece here. And then this is Australia, if you can kind of look carefully at that map. So overall, this is the paper, Antarctica Universal. This is the first paper of its kind on the planet. Um, as far as I'm aware of, um, I'm the only person really looking at this in great detail um, at this point in history. So uh, my brother's name is Bryn, which is very similar to the name Brain. So I've named Antarctica the Brain. So on all planets outside of in the universe, you can basically call them the Brains or the Brins. Uh, which is a very similar uh, name, uh, but here is a picture of Antarctica um, in all of its beauty, um, you can kind of see. Um, and I've worked with a number of different organizations. I've worked um, from University of Illinois um, and ACM and IEEE, I'm an electrical engineer. So basically I started working as um, in, out in Silicon Valley uh, for a FPGA company, Field Programmable Gate Array Company. Um, and then I've also worked for a supercomputer company. Um, so a lot of the ideas about how to make um, work with our planet, um, not only the computer systems, but also the natural environment is very important to me. Um, and actually I've changed almost 180 degrees to start supporting uh, the natural environment as opposed to the electronics of the world that's been happening. So um, but basically, uh, as you can see, there's kind of a North Pole and a South Pole here and, that in, and then the magnet is actually switched. It's not perfectly along the axis always. So you can see that it's off a little bit. And then there's kind of a field that's associated with this. And oftentimes the field is actually going to the South. So you can see here, it comes in from the north and then it goes out to the south. So that's why we have Antarctica on the planet. And it's very likely that on other planets around the solar system and even around the universe will have more um, actually mass on the south pole um, or some kind of thing similar to Antarctica on many of the south poles of the planets, at least on the planets that are spinning uh, in the same direction that the planet Earth is spinning. So it depends on the, the rotation of the planet and the rotation of the galaxy or the rotation also of the um, local solar system because they can all be different um, depending on each other. So here you can see an image of, the, of a brain and then next to Antarctica, it's pretty obvious. There's no, really no one that would debate, no scientist, no, no person of, that would debate this, but it is very, very similar as many respects. And you can see you have the parietal lobe, frontal lobe, occipital lobe, cerebellum, temporal lobe, spine, and then the cingulate in the center, which is basically the brain. 
of the planet. Um, now, on the North Pole, it's very different. There's almost a whole year, but there is. We started. I started to do some research, important research, onto these three mysterious islands that we have on the North Pole. Um, and you'll see that there's also an electromagnetic or electrodynamic pole, as I call it, um, because that actually is dynamic because it doesn't always stay in the same pace and it actually has moved quite a bit. But this triangle seems to point to that pole um, and it seems to be right on the top here and moving actually a little bit towards Russia right now, as many people believe, and towards these three islands. So these three islands may actually be um, very mysterious in terms of how this works in terms of the uh, electrodynamic pole or the electromagnetic pole, meaning the compass pole. And you can see there's one side that's a logical spinning side and then there's another side that's a mysterious or spiritual poles. So these are basically called the spiritual poles of our planet, um, which we've been working on. And then there's other poles that are even near down the equator um, and some other ideas about Hinduism and uh, Christianity as well um, that you might want to look into um, if you're interested in how the whole entire planet works. So you basically have a swapping because, um, so really I'm gonna end this topic with this final comment and it really has to do with electrical engineering and how far wrong we were. So basically as the planet spins here, um, we really said that the positive pole was the um, top north pole here and the negative pole was the south pole, but actually, um, electrical, if you know anything about charges, the actual electrons come from the ground, um, so there's a little bit of difference um, in where, where, what happens with um, the electrical current. So the current, the, the current is actually going down south. So a lot of people would say that if there is charges actually coming from the south pole, that is actually the positive pole, and the negative pole is actually the the top pole. So it really depends on your understanding about how the spinning of the earth works and everything in terms of positive and negative charges. So there's actually going to be a lot more negative. Um, you know, it, it's just different. Um, it's different on how you do it. So I actually swapped this east and west and west and east here. So just giving you a perspective of how this might work. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this study of Antarctica Universal. There's a whole lot of other work in here. So there's just tons and tons of pages here, specifically in Tasmania, you'll see. You'll see just a lot of other research here and it's not going to load up everything but i'll try to load it up so you can see some of the fantastic work that i've already done to help you understand what's going on with with antarctica and you'll definitely see quite creative ideas throughout this whole presentation here and i hope you really enjoy it let me know what you think i'd be glad to talk with you about it in great detail thank you so much and again this is antarctica universal thank you